Hello my YouTuber friends. This is Josh Awesome back for another video. I am going to be showing you a little tu tutorial today on how to make a cool little looking house for a town or something. Yeah, so yeah, I know it's been a it's been a really long time since I made a video. It's cuz I've been crazy busy. But um so this is the house I'm going to be showing you how to make. It's an old English -ish style house. <clears throat> Not really sure what to call it, but um it's it's a nice little looking house. It looks Looks really neat. Uh, lots of room on the inside. Walk around. If you look, see, there's a little, there's a little front area as you can look out and be like, "Hello, dude." Yeah. And then the stairs. Go up the stairs. And this area is pretty cool. You can make a loft if you wanted to. Like you could place some something there, and then you have like another area, you know. Anyways, so I'm gonna be showing how to make that today. So I have. We started a little town here. It took me a while to build all these, but um, I left one plot empty to show you how to make them. <clears throat> so I'm gonna need a um, let's see, oh, I think it's a 13 by 13. Yeah, it's a 13 by 13 square. Um, and you're going to if you the way I've done it is I've built walls around, so it's technically like 11. Yeah, 11 by 11 square. So what you're gonna start with is you're going to make four columns, eight blocks tall. Um, I think it's eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten blocks tall. I'm sorry. I must be corrected. Ten blocks tall on either side of the entryway. And then you make two more here. Oops, too tall. And you make four on either side of the actual entryway to make that little square opening place on either sides to make this area this little area this is like a little sitting room or something and so you build it right up and after you make all these then you're going to do two more in the very back so this is a new series I'm starting by the way I'm probably going to make some videos when I have time on different buildings that I come up with or things that I've seen that are pretty cool yeah so um, after you finish that then I'm going to build the foundations I'm a perfectionist, I hate when logs are sideways even if you can't see them it still pisses me off anyways yeah so you build it all the way around on the edges <coughs> Oh, and by the way, the um, blocks you're going to need for this one, for this uh, build, are going to be some uh, oak wood slabs, oak wood stairs, oak wood planks. You can use any of the different types of planks and oak wood, but you're going to need the, di the four types of glass, some wool, and some torches. Let me check the other house to make sure I didn't miss anything. Yeah, I have everything. Alright, so you're going to continue and finish this all the way around. I'm oh, clicking really fast. Anyways, um, so you finish this all the way around, and after it's round, you place one stair right there, right in the middle, and you build up three blocks on either side. By the way, this is um, it is a nine block, nine little square entryway. Yeah, I think it's nine. No, it's twelve. Twelve blocks entry way just so you can have looking on either side and for this part it makes it look kind of like a creeper face like you can see there that looks kind of like a creeper face so what you do is you place the stairs upside down on the walls and you place two stone slabs or two what, wood slabs in between now you have the entryway I just did that I thought of this just because it looks gives it a little flare I'd rather have that than boring oldness so then you fill in with oak slabs or whatever wood slabs all the way to fill in this whole entire bottom area Darn it. okay so you fill in with oak or why do I keep saying that anyways I'm just gonna say oak because I'm using oak right now you fill it in with slabs wood oak all the way around till it's full Blah. And then you go into the walls. So now this is where you take your wall and you place it on all the areas. You just make one layer on the bottom. 
And once you have all that filled in, once you have all that filled in, then you're ready to continue on with your house. So now, what I what you do next is you take two glass or four glass and you fill them in here. Get out of your chicken! I hate you, chicken. Die! 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 Okay. Did not. I do not like chickens. They they really are obnoxious and thing. Anyways, there I go. Fill it in with the glass. I'm just gonna show you really quickly here. You put wood planks on the front and the sides, but then you put wool there. And that is just because, as you can see on this house, we place wood planks along the front, or er, stairs, wooden stairs along the front, so that it looks pretty cool. Then inside the entryway, you fill it in nine blocks with um, wool, and you fill it back here above the door with planks, because this floor is also going to be planks. And after you have placed the wool on either side, then you start filling in with the planks so that you get a nice looking floor in the front area. Then along the front, like I was saying before, you take your stairs and you place them upside down all the way across, like this. Ay. Wow. Anyways, now you place four block, four stairs, regular side up, on the four pillars in the front. Just add a little effect. Next, you place the, the logs sideways. This is one time I'll accept sideways logs. And so it looks like this. Next, you place four more stairs upside down on the tops of the pillars so you can finish the windows. And then you fill them with glass and whatever. Blah, 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 blah. So that it looks nice and not incomplete. Right, that is the front of the house. Except for if I got glass there on that side. Er, okay. Now we go over here and you put wool two blocks up so you can make the windows the same size. And then you go in the middle and you place two wool blocks on the sides so that it makes a little weird little like, H. And also so you have equally sized windows on either side. In the back, you place two. Um, place two so that there's two on the ends and three in the middle, and then you cover the top. You can, I mean, a lot of this you can see from the other houses that are built around, but yeah, it's, it's, yeah, anyways. So then you fill in with glass, and you just fill it in. Oops. Anyways, yeah, so, and after that you take logs and you place them sideways around the sides to give it a little extra more realistic effect and also because it looks pretty dang cool and here we go only on the sides though, you don't, the front is already done but the sides you want it all set around next for the second floor you We'll fill in all of it, except for here. You place two there, two blocks there, and then you place your stairs, so you have a stairway going up to the second floor. And then you fill in underneath the stairs here, but you leave the window open because then you can still look at the window. Then you think it's like a bathroom or something, you know, whatever, whatever you want it to be. Then you fill in the rest with these planks. Yeah, I find. Is it? I, I actually built this on a, on my server on, on a, not my server on one of the servers I play on for my um, I made a town and so I made a bunch of these houses and the people who've seen them thought they're pretty cool but um I, I just like them they look really pretty don't they doesn't that look beautiful yes it does I like yes it's beautiful I have to say I must compliment myself anyways back to the build and you place the wall on the top not the bottom because it is already too tall with, or like, you know, two blocks tall with the logs there. Then replace the wall on the bottom. Now you do the same exact thing you did with the lower area on either side. And then you fill in with glass. 
So I'm, I leave, all my houses are empty, and you guys can do whatever you want with these areas. Like earlier I was saying, um, you'll see later on when I start finishing the build, with um, this area you could build a loft if you wanted to. I thought that would be pretty cool, because you can, and also, you you can use your, use creativity with this. You can use cobblestone instead of this, you can use, instead of this, you can use regular stone or something. Instead of white wool, you can use black wool or any other thing you wanted, like lapis would be, lapis would be weird personally, but it could work. You never know. Next, so now you've completed the actual house. Now it's time to go onto the roof. Now you take this, and you take stairs, and you go all the way across the front. Then you fill in planks, or whatever material you're going to use, all the way around the edges. And you fill it in so that it looks nice, and so that your house will be able to fit if you wanted to put, like I did, with only one block in between, yet still have stairs in the back. Then you place them all the way across. And now, for the rest of the house, it is the tallest point will be... It's like three blocks from here. See here. And that's the tallest point of the house. So now you just fill it in, these spaces for the stairs, and uh, once you fill it in, I'll hurry, lightning mode, lightning mode, and if you want to, I bet you, if you really want to, you could put skylights up here too, if you, if, if you really wanted to. I just didn't, because I didn't think of it at the time, and I kind of wanted a full roof, I don't know, like skylights, how much I'm Next, you cover the planks, or the logs, the pillars, whatever you want to call them, with oak stairs, and you attach them to the walls. And you make, and you don't attach it this way, because that would be kind of strange, but this is a cool little area. It looks pretty realistic, too, and this is the whole loft. And now you make a bar here, just as a guide bar for your stairs on the roof. It just makes it, si oh, excuse me, a little bit simpler to place the stairs. Now you place your stairs, and you make your house look all nice and pretty. Nice and pretty. Oh, come on, really? It's raining? Excuse me a moment. Blah, 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 blah. There. It'll never be raining again. Anyways. Must finish house. Okay. Now. I... Now once... Once you finish all this little house, you can do whatever you want with it. And now, now you've finished your house. Now what I found for lights, uh, for lighting the house, is placing torches on these two front here. And if you did what I did with torches on like every once in a while, you don't really need to light up the outside of the house unless you like it. Because, I mean, first of all you can place a door so mobs can't really get in. And this is mostly like a little townhouse. It's, it looks pretty nice in a town. So what I've done is I've placed them on right on either side of the door, on the pillars, not the door though, not the actual um, wood, on the logs, and I've placed them on all these middle areas. So it's really well lit, yet they're evenly spaced. And here, on the second level, I have placed torches on all the sides of the pillars, like all the way around, like that, okay, mm -hmm. and... Once it's all the way around, I've also placed it on all the walls. Now, your house is almost complete. If you want, you can take away this bar, this guide bar. You don't need it anymore. And now your English townhome is complete. It is a very fun house to make, and fairly simple, as you can see. Also, if you if you want, you can make it any however big you want. You can make it bigger if you want. You could have, you know, three on either side of here, and four or five in the middle. You can do. You can literally just go run with this because it's a very simple formula to make it, and as you can see, it's pretty easy to replicate because you can tell I've made twelve of them. <laughs> but um, yeah. So yeah. So that was my video. My series is probably I'll probably get up as many as I can, and more videos in general. It's because I have more time now. Um, so like me on Facebook, check out my page, I've put some own, my own custom stuff on there, 
that I've done on my single player worlds. And yeah, drop a link and subscribe to this page if you like what I and my channel if you like what I do. And yeah, goodbye.